I'm down in Hamilton to look at another beautiful kitchen with Mastercraft Kitchen's head designer, Kristen Reed. Good morning, Kristen. Morning. Okay, so tell me a little bit about the history of this kitchen. 18 years ago, Dave Gibbs from Mastercraft Kitchens Hamilton uh, designed the kitchen. He's a homeowner as well. He designed a state-of-the-art kitchen and for that time. We had integrated fridges and lighting and all sorts. But in 18 years, things have changed a lot. So they're wanting to upgrade their kitchen, incorporating those modern changes and making the kitchen more suitable to their lifestyle now and the way they live. What were the sort of restrictions and constraints that Dave had to work around? Being an architectural home, we've got a unique footprint to this kitchen. We've got a lot of different levels, sort of step down into the kitchen and step down again into the lounge. That's where the two breakfast bars come into play. It divides the space off, but still keeping it open to that living space um, across from it, so welcoming you into the kitchen. The main objective in creating a new kitchen was to add more natural light. So these windows that you can see throughout the kitchen have been added um, during this kitchen renovation to add that natural light, which they've achieved really, really well. So I understand, Kristen, you know, there was a bathroom upstairs and there were some surprises, there was some plumbing in the ceiling. Yeah, there's some plumbing hanging down. So in order to hide that, we don't want plumbing visible in the ceiling, we've actually created some bulkheads, or Dave has created some bulkheads that actually cover it up, but it helps define the kitchen space. Changing the level of the bulkhead across the back wall and above the secondary island, um, really, it gives it a location for lighting. It looks so purposeful, and that's why having a good designer on board is key, because I think that that's really added visually to this space. Okay, so what are the sort of key design features and, and cool design elements that Dave's put in the kitchen? There's a lot of integration happening in this kitchen, hiding things that we don't want to see. We've got a bar behind you, which is actually beautiful um, visually when the doors are open, when they're entertaining. Um, but next to it, we've got um, a space for all the clutter. Dave, um, when he's got people coming over, just wipes everything straight into that cupboard, pulls the door down, and it's all hidden. We've got um, appliance garages, and these are so popular. Unit right down onto the bench with bench top inside, full of power points, bifolding doors. You can have all your everyday appliances set up all the time, pulling them forward when you're using them, so there's not too much heat happening in there. Um, and keeping it tidy, so you know, we're rushing through breakfast to get off to work, push everything back, close the doors, and it's tidy when you leave and come home, and it still looks great. They've also included a flat screen TV into the kitchen doors. It's actually not very noticeable, uh, it's because you know it's flat screen and there's been a custom made uh, box pretty much for it to sit in above the clutter cupboard. Um, so it, it doesn't stand out as a feature. What you notice in this kitchen are the things that Dave and his partner want you to notice the beautiful window leading you to the outside and the bench top and you know other LED lighting's giving the room a really warm aesthetic. Lighting's obviously changed across 18 years. What sort of updates has Dave done here? He's used LED lights under the breakfast bar overhangs, which looks fantastic at night time when he's entertaining. And above overhead cabinets, shining up towards the ceiling to give that sort of feeling of space, which is so effective. And underneath, of course, there's task, task lighting. The pendant lights are really well considered in the space too. Because they're, they're, they're large enough to divide the rooms without having walls, again, like we talked about before, but they're not so much of a statement piece that it's a distraction to the other key features going on in the room. I understand Dave's a, a big cat lover and he's got something special in his kitchen. He demonstrates um, how a designer think, thinks outside the box. He's taken a utensil divider and it's a perfectly sized cat food drawer. So he keeps all his little tins of cat food all lined up um, because they're very picky um, and it keeps it all neat and tidy and I think when you look through this kitchen, um, they are very, very keen on organisation, very, very busy people. So having those things to, you know, to keep it all organised and keep everything tidy, um, it's just made this kitchen a great space for them to work in on a daily basis and entertain from. Thanks Kristen for showing me this beautiful kitchen. Oh, you're welcome, anytime.